Hello folks. Well, as many of you may have seen in my last video, I flew a low-end FPV camera on my blade quadcopter just to see if I could do it. But without peripheral vision, it felt like the follow me mode in the RC simulators, which is, brings me to the subject of this video. First of all, you may know I was a beta tester for the first real flight sim and since have purchased and have flown all the other sims. Thus, it gives me the ability to give you a fair review, which I did. I still prefer the Aerofly 5.7s. The feel of the planes is closer to flying the real models to me. So I really feel like I'm flying and getting some good practice. But now enter the full scale skims. I have Microsoft Flight Sim and it's been around a long time and it's fairly boring to fly actually because that's why you get all those switches you can flip while you fly. <laughs> okay folks, just going to fly a little bit here, uh, give you a quick little preview of the Aerofly a simulator. I've got it on autopilot right now. Let me turn that off. You see it's a full scale sim designed to emulate real plane flying. Well Icarus, the makers of Aerofly, have come up with their own full scale sim called Aerofly FS. In this video I will simply show you some of the flying and point out some of its features. I find it superior to the flying MS sim due to the feel of the plane. And I can tell you I have flown a real Cessna 172 and I can also tell you the sim model flies exactly the same way. I'm blown away. And the biggest problem while making this video was that I couldn't put the controls down long enough to make the video. The Aerofly FS sim has not been released yet, but when it does I think you're going to be pretty impressed for only 49 bucks. The Aerofly full scale can be flown on as to about any computer, your laptop, and you can use the mouse, the keyboard, or the joystick transmitter. I prefer to use my old Real Flight Interlink transmitter made by Futaba. I use it for most of my sims because first of all, all of them recognize it and I also modified it. Modified mine to include a low throttle kill switch and also a full throttle switch. That way I don't have to move the throttle trim up and down as I have to with many of my other sims to get a totally high or totally low throttle. So I use this one a lot. Well this sim, they didn't spend a bunch of time putting a bunch of switches and things you can play with while you fly like Microsoft X. What they did do is they put in incredible graphics, near perfect aircraft flight physics, and uh, once you start flying it, you're probably not going to be able to put this thing down. I can't. And I'm an RCer. On top of that, the entire country of Switzerland, its features, airports, runways, mountains, etc. are all accessible in real time. You'll never fly into dead airspace like other sims. And then the F-18, you can enjoy amazing countryside, mountains, and the thrill of flying through them at 900 mile an hour plus. There are a multitude number of camera angles that you can look at the plane from any angle or fly inside as a pilot or with a co-pilot. All of the instruments, radar, and map in the cockpits function exactly as in a real plane. And the F-18 has a full heads-up display on the windshield. Another neat feature is the flight challenges. These teach you the basics of flying or doing stunts by following a course in the sky that even teaches you how to do a four point roll or Cuban 8. It's a good learning tool. And with the optional head tracker, the cameras will follow your head making an amazing realistic flight. The Aerofly FS sim will fly on just about any computer or Mac and by adjusting the video parameters you can keep the speed real. Of course, the more RAM and a good video card make the unit amazing. In case you hadn't noticed, all the gauges work. The pilot's arms and legs move with the stick and rudder pedals. It's pretty realistic. When the program starts, it automatically checks for updates. And I like that. Fly inside as a pilot or with the co-pilot. I like the co-pilot. Uh, there's also an autopilot so you can talk to the co-pilot. <laughs> there's also a novice and expert mode. It's like putting an RC model in half rate for the novice mode and then you get full control movements in the expert mode. Of course like the other sims all the weather conditions can be changed with wind, the clouds, the sun and fog.
can also turn on the mountain's names and the lakes so you can tell where you are flying over while you're flying. There's also a nice looking thermal and wind display to use when slope soaring and the gliders also have varios. The gliders can be winch launched or in the case of the Discus BM you can have an onboard engine startup. I'm using Fraps which deteriorates the flight here but it's smooth as butter when it's off. I'm only using it to show you guys the graphics. Uh, which are set on low here so the fraps can actually keep up. It's a lot of memory to consume. Well, there are eight different aircraft, the Discus BM Glider, the Swift S1 Glider, the Sopwith Camel, the Extra 300 LX, and the Cessna 172 Skyhawk, the F-18 Horn, and the Robin DR-400, and a Pitts S2A.
I'm sure everybody's going to like this when Icarus releases it. I can't even put it down for a second. Even my cat likes it. She thinks she's in the car. <laughs> <laughs>